Hi, good day. Um, welcome to my channel. And ngayon, tututuraan ko kayo kung paano ba mag-add and mag-subtract ng radicals. Okay, so adding and subtracting radicals. So, paano ba yan? Now, yung in adding and subtracting radicals or in addition and subtraction of radicals, there is one important thing that you need to remember. And that is, um, we can only add and subtract radicals if and only if the radicals are similar. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung similar yung radicals? Simply lang. Para malaman natin kung similar siya, dapat daw pareha sila ng index, same indices, and radicands. Ano ba yung indices or yung index? Yung index, plural po niyan, indices. So, ano po ba siya? Siya yung halimbawa, square root of, so that's 2, yun yung index. Halimbawa, cube root of, yun yung index. Okay? Yung radicand naman po, siya yung nasa loob. Expression inside the radical sign. Halimbawa, square root of 5. Yung 5, yun yung radicand. Square root of 7, siya po yung radicand. Okay? Ganun po yun. So, dapat parehas na parehas. So, let's start. So, in addition to subtraction of radicals, there are two steps that we need to follow. The first one is to add or subtract the numerical coefficients and then copy the common radicand. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Katulad nito, yung 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 3, automatic si square root of 3, meron siyang 1 as index. Ah, I mean, numerical coefficient. Now, yung index niyan ay 2, parehas. Automatic kapag walang index, that's 2. And then, square root of 3, parehas siya ng radicand. Kapag parehas ng index at radicand, then we can, or it is possible, or we can add or combine the radicals. So dito, ang gagawin lang natin, i-add lang natin yung numerical. ba diba? Dito may 2, tas ito 1. So add mo lang siya, 2 plus 1. So the answer is 3. And then, copy mo lang yung common radicand na square root of 3. Wala kang gagawin, wala kang i-add, i-subtract sa radicand. Kakapi mo lang siya. Para lang siyang polynomial, kinakapi lang natin yung variable kapag nag a tayo or nagsusubtract. Okay? So that's the final answer. The next one, is 5 square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 2. Pares ng radikan, pares ng index na 2, so pwedeng i-combine. Since minus, 5 minus 3 lang yung numerical, the, the answer is 2. And then copy lang natin yung common radikan, which is square root of 2. Okay, ganun lang siya kasimple. Now what if magkaiba ng radikan? Kasi may case na ganyan eh, magkaiba ng radikan, pero it is possible to add that Radicals kasi pwedeng, mayroong pwede dyang masimplify. So, ang gagawin nyo lang para ma malaman nyo kung pwede pa siyang masimplify, ganito. Kunin nyo lang yung, tingnan nyo yung radikan. Tapos kunin nyo yung mababa. Ang gawin mo, i-divide mo ngayon yung mababa. Yung mataas dito sa mababa. 8 divided by 2, that's 4. Yung answer nun, tanungin mo, is 4 a perfect n power? Since square root yan, is 4 a perfect square? If your answer is yes, ibig sabihin, pwede pong masimplify ito. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo lang ay, ayun yung steps natin, simplify the radicand to make them similar, and then add or subtract, follow lang natin yung dalawang sunod na step. So, sisimplify daw natin muna si 8. Di ba ang 8 ay 4 times 2? Ayan. Kasi dapat, kaya, kaya dapat pag nagsisimplify tayo, yung isa doon, kaparehas nung kabila. Kasi yun yung goal natin, maging similar sila, parehas ng radicand. Then, si 4 ay perfect square. Pwede siyang malabas. Ang square ng 4 ay 2. Tapos, may 2 dito sa labas. So, multiply yan. And then, yung natira sa loob na square of 2. And then, multiply mo to Magiging 4 square root of 2. Tapos, copy mo lang to 3 square root of 2. So, since pares na tayo ng radikan, pares na rin ng index, pwede na natin ituloy or mag-proceed doon sa pag-aad ng numerical. So, 4 plus 3 lang yan. Then, copy mo yung... Sorry. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 square root of 2. Copy lang natin yung square root of 2 since pareha siya. Ganun lang din ang gagawin natin dito sa kabila. ba diba? Ang mababa ay 3. So gawin natin, i-divide, i-factor natin si 27. Dapat yung isa doon, 3. Yun yung goal mo dat parehas eh. So ano yung number na pag pinag-times mo kay, times mo kay 3, magiging 27, di ba 9? And then as perfect square ba si 9? So... Yes, di ba? May square root ng 9. Ang square root ng 9 ay 3. So, pwede man natin yan mapalabas. So, magiging 4. And then, ang square root ng 9, papalabasin natin, magiging 3 na yun. Tatimes natin. And then, maiiwan yung 3 sa loob. So, that's square root of 
Then, magiging 12 square root of 3. Mumultiply lang ha. Multiply. Yung lumabas na to, mumultiply mo dun sa nasa labas. And then, 9 square root of 3. Copy or bring down. And then, proceed na tayo. 9 minus 12. Since, mas mataas yung 12. At keep change, change tayo. So, magiging 9 plus negative 12 yan. Rule na yan ng addition of subtraction of integers. So, magiging negative 3. Tapos, square root of 3. So, this is now our final answer. Now, lastly, or last example, 5 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 2. What if magkaiba ng radikan? Tapos, yung 5, pag, pag naiano mo dun sa mababang number, hindi naman siya divisible. So, ibig sabihin, there's no, uh, there, there's no possible factors of 5 na mapapas, masisimplify natin na magiging 2 yung radicand. Yan. So, kapag ganyan yung binigay sa inyo, um, ang gagawin lang natin ay, if the radicals are not similar, then copy the given as it is. So, ang final answer natin, 5 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 2. Ayan na, yung buong expression na yan, yun yung answer natin. So, ito naman. 3, tas ito 18. Di ba si 18 divisible by 3? So, pwede natin siyang ma-divide 3 times, anong pwede? Di ba? That's 6. Pero kapag tatanungin natin, perfect square ba si 6? Di ba hindi? So, ibig sabihin, wala na, no chance na kahit siya divisible doon sa mababa at hindi naman perfect n power or square root, perfect square, ibig sabihin, ito pa rin yung kokopyahin natin na final answer. So, 4 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 18. That's our final answer. Hindi natin pwedeng i-combine ang numerical kasi nga magkaiba ng radical. So, that's all. Thank you.